we have books. Inside this box is a $100 Oculus Quest 2 I got off eBay. Apparently, the battery on this is no good, so I wanted to see if it's easy to replace these batteries because Oculus Quest 2 is a very popular product, and if a battery replacement on this is very hard, these will end up in landfills and I'll lose a $100, so let's check it out. I did buy this off eBay quite a while ago, and I'm not really sure if this is gonna come as described because, you know, eBay. We'll open up the box. There we go. Remove the packaging. I see an Oculus, so we... Wait, what? Why is there $5? Um, thank you, I guess. This is from the States. I'm guessing whoever sent this had $5 they just wanted to get rid of. I don't know if this is a good sign or a bad sign. Is this $5 compensation for how bad this Oculus is about to be? Let's find out. So I guess I got this for $95 then, with the $5 discount. This is the Oculus. It looks kinda dirty. There's no head strap. So first off, before I even replace the battery on this, we have to make sure that this thing even works. So we're gonna plug it in and see if it does. I really hope it does. We have a flashing red light. And no display. I don't see anything at all. So I just Googled the problem and basically a flashing red light means that the Oculus doesn't have enough power to even boot. We'll leave it charging for a bit and see what happens. So I just drove home to get some controllers so I can actually see if everything works. And to my surprise, everything does. We charged up the battery and miraculously it charged to 50% very quickly, but it's going down super fast. So in the last three minutes, it went down about 5% and we're not even playing anything. We're literally on the home screen. So I can confirm that this does need a battery. So the first thing we have to do is remove the headset cushion. There we go. And it looks like we have a bunch of, I think those are T7 screws. We'll hit this with an unscrew. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm actually a little bit scared to do this because I've never done it before and I really don't want to waste my money. Unscrew again. Now is the moment of truth. We're gonna lift this up. That is the inside of the Oculus. I think we have a flex cable here. We could just pull that out. Okay, there's some glue there, but we got it out. So that's the proximity sensor. It's right over here. And now we have, uh, let's see what we got. So I'm seeing some Phillips screws that I believe allow you to pop off this cover. So we're gonna continue to unscrew everything. And there's one, oh my God, why is there hair in here, for real? One, two, three screws that I can see. We'll hit this with an unscrew. These are probably all the same size, so I'm just gonna put them over there. This one's kind of hard to get to. Unscrew. If I can pull this off successfully, I'll definitely be offering this as a service. If it's too difficult, probably won't be worth it. The battery is only about $30 Canadian, so not bad at all. Now that we have those three screws off, I think this should pop off now, hopefully. I may or may not have removed the wrong screws, so we're gonna use this guy. This lets you kind of get into places that a normal screwdriver wouldn't. Unscrew. What the hell is this? So nothing I have right now is letting me unscrew those two screws because of how deep they are. This screwdriver is our last hope. Let's see if it works. Mark Zuckerberg. What are you doing, bro? Our second last hope is this yellow screwdriver. Please. Oh. Okay, there we go, thank God. This is like the third step in this whole process and I already struggled like crazy. We have another long screw and unscrew. Sorry if you guys cannot see this, but it's so dark in here. I can't even see what I'm doing. There we go, we did it, thank God. Okay, now unclip this. Check that out. That actually looks insane. Look how much tech is crammed in here. We have a fan, four cameras, a board, and even more under here. That's pretty cool. So from this step, I can't really see a way to the battery. The only option we have is to start removing stuff. So this is about to get really, really messy. I believe the battery is on the other side of this metal plate. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to removing everything. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this metal plate here unscrew i think i'm gonna lose screws this uh this time around hopefully i don't but so busy in here now we can remove what appears to be the wi-fi antenna there we go 
And there we go, we took off, oh my God. We took off the metal plate. Where's the battery? <laughs> and I think that's the battery just cause it's a thicker flex cable. Yeah, we have the battery disconnected. So now we know which connector is the battery. I'm just gonna start unplugging and removing everything cause I don't know what else to do. So here we go. I get that these devices are hard to make, but at some point you're gonna have to replace the battery and why do I have to go through all of this to do that? It just makes no sense to me. Remove the Bluetooth antenna and we'll pull it out of its clip. There we go. And that's one, a hundred more to go. So the cameras are connected via this connector to the board. So it's connector on connector and then it connects to the board. And over here we have another connector leading somewhere else that's on this connector. This is connectorception. We'll remove what appears to be the audio cable. My cameraman just yawned <laughs> because this is taking so long. All right, now we'll unscrew here. There's another torque screw up here. Let's get that. Unscrew. I hate my life. Remove the fan. Now we gotta remove the heatsink. Unscrew. Now we can remove the heatsink. And that is our main processing chip. Fuck the chip. So now all that we need to remove is the board, the cameras, and then this metal plate. And then we have access to our battery, I hope. We'll disconnect everything. It's safe to say that I don't think I'll be offering this as a service unless I'm getting paid a lot because this is a headache and a half. This is so tough for no reason. We've had to remove practically everything and we're not even at the battery yet. We're going to continue, but man, am I tired. Gee golly. Now I'm starting to understand why this came with $5 because I'm going to need that for a fat coffee later. We should be able to just lift up the board and remove it. Holy crap. This is a good looking board though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now the final step, I think, we'll unscrew everything else we can see. If you guys are wondering how I'm keeping track of my screws, I can't lie to you, it's not looking great. Now, if all goes well, we could just lift this up. Okay, it's happening. Oh my God, bro. <sighs> Wait, what? Is this the battery? So we did some research and it turns out this is the battery. This is the longest battery replacement I've ever done in my life. Okay, let's uh, unscrew all of these screws. There's a bunch in here. If you're enjoying this video, cuss out Mark Zuckerberg in the comments. Remove the battery, god damn. We'll pull out our replacement battery, screw the battery back in. We're gonna zoom through putting this back together because I'm in pain right now and I can't talk anymore. So fast forward now. Little did I know that pain was just the beginning. As I put this back together, I kept realizing I was missing something and I had to tear it down over and over again to make sure everything was in the right place. The amount of connectors and screws here is insane and even with the best repair mat in the world, it's still hard to put everything back where it belongs. The scariest part of all this is that I don't even know if the Oculus will still work after this. The thing is, I'll only know once I put it all together. If this doesn't work after I put it all together, I pretty much have to do this whole thing all over again, which would be torture. Surprisingly, I managed to put everything where it should be, and I'm 99% sure all the screws are in the right place. And this is it. The Oculus is back together. All that's left is to see if it still works. Hopefully, we're good to go. We're going to press and hold the power button because in theory, this battery should have charge because it's brand new. I hope this works. Well, we have a LED and I actually can see, oh, it made the noise. Let's go. There's only one thing left to do to test this and see if it works properly. We're gonna box out Mark Zuckerberg. So I hopped in the ring with Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> and we went at it. He does look stupid in those blue shorts with those blue gloves, but he put up a good fight, I'm not gonna lie. The fight for right to repair is much more important, so I finished him off. Whoa. Look at him on the floor, he looks stupid. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll see you guys in the metaverse. Peace. The red corner. Yeah.